work Lessons in Agriculture by me, Natalie Evick Scott. Um, I work across the street, literally, um, at the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources here at MSU, the Pioneer Land Grant Institution. I, I have to tell you, though, I had no idea what that meant, um, you know, before I started my work there about three years ago. So, Nick, is it going to advance me or are you going to just get me going? Tell me when. Go. <laughs> All right, so other than knowing that we like to eat, this is my son Ellie, by the way, other than knowing that I like to eat, I didn't really know a whole lot about agriculture before I started working for um, my initiative, Project Green, which is all about plant agriculture research. Um, yeah, and uh, here's what I learned really quickly. Food is sexy. Like, when we love each other, we feed each other. You know, you take someone out to dinner for a first date to try to woo them. But let me tell you that growing food, it's not that sexy. It's really not. Um, like this, for example, it's not poop. It's a composite material that they're growing exotic mushrooms in, right? So amazing. Uh, next thing, farmers don't have a job description. Um, you can't like go to school and major in farming. You can major in a, a kind of farming, but they really they have to be chemists and engineers and marketers and entrepreneurs and everything in between. Uh, the next thing that I learned is that food is heavily regulated. So the worm in your apple that you might have heard about or you know seen on some kind of funny thing or found in your food is probably a coddling moth. Um, again, something that you might never know, but amazing. So we have a researcher who's been working for <laughs> years on how to eliminate codly moths using reduced risk pesticides. Um, so ugly food needs love too. So typically between 5 and 15 percent of um, fresh market peaches in Michigan are actually culled out and, um, and discarded. Um, so we're working on ways to keep those things longer. Um, bug, a farmer's best friend and worst enemy. So every one out of three bites of food that you eat is related to pollination. So bees, the thing that gets stuck in your car and you're like freaking out, we really need it. So best friend, worst enemy. Um, farmers make great entrepreneurs. Um, and I think that the biggest part of that is because of Mother Nature. There's always something in their business that they can't control. So this is Mark from Kalamazoo. He has this beautiful, gorgeous greenhouse. He started a whole organic transplant vegetable greenhouse. Fascinating. Um, the other thing is, food is contentious. You're going to hear a couple other presentations about agriculture tonight. Let me tell you, food is a movement. It's, it's very much a movement. Um, organic, local, all those things. But let me tell you what I know is that we're really lucky. I don't have to grow my own food if I don't want to. And I think that makes us pretty gosh darn lucky. So Americans spend about 10% of their disposable income on food. Um, and really, you work like you know, 36 days to pay for your food for a year, and you actually pay like 77 to pay your federal taxes. So just to put it in perspective, um, growing food is a balancing act. So if you think about making a change in your business, you might want to hire someone or do something different or buy some new equipment. Um, in a farmer's world, it's huge to make that kind of decision. 300, 400, $5,000 equipment in some cases. And whoa, farming's a business. I think that that's what I've learned the most, that things like, um, you know, farmers making money makes people uncomfortable. They don't want them to be profitable. They want them to, like, suffer to make their food. But let me tell you that agri-food equals Michigan jobs. So if you don't know already, you should. Agri-food is Michigan's second largest industry. It has a $71.3 billion impact on the state of Michigan, second only to manufacturing. Um, you know, when I grow up, I want to be a farmer. Um, and I have a t-shirt, actually, that says that. Um, this is, again, my son, Elliot. Um, when you inspire your kids to be something better in the future, what, what else could you tell them that, you, you know, hey, I really want you to feed the world, aspire to feed the world in new and better ways? Um, or, when I grew up, I want to be an academic. Um, I work with these folks every day. They annoy the heck out of me a lot of times, but they are also the most inspiring, brilliant people that I've ever met. So this is Daryl Warnke. He's got some carrots. He manages the Muck Soils Farm. It's not about dirt, it's about soil. Very important lesson. Um, so what I wanted to say is, I'm not here to tell you how to eat, or what you should eat, or where you should buy your food, but what I am here to tell you is that you're really, really lucky to have the ability to get to grow your own food, or to not have to. Um, and that I love my job, and I met, you know, meet the people who make Lay's potato chips, and the people who, you know, make Welch's grape juice, and they're all uh, equally awesome. So, uh, thanks for having me.